Come along to the 42nd annual Cache Valley Cruise-In. It's July 3rd at 4.30 here at the Cache Valley Fairgrounds. So last year it was interesting because about six o'clock people began to work their way out into some of the areas where the cars would be parked and set up grills. And Angie and I did the same thing. We, we set our camp chairs up and kind of ended up in some spots that at midnight when the rules said you could finally put your cars out there, we ran the cars out there. Well, it's 4.30 and it's begun. You can see over there, they were already people sitting in chairs with their, with their grill out so that they can get uh, the spot that they want to out on the grass. Six and a half hours later. And, and, and they're the winners. <laughs> so this here is the giveaway truck at the Cache Valley Cruise Inn. Oh, look, a millennial can't win it. They wouldn't be able to drive it. It's got a stick. So it. it has to go to somebody our age or older. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Grip. One of, one of the joys of being in a car show, you gotta have that California duster. Right, Slater? I saw these the other day. I'm like, they're made in Richmond. I was just sitting here wondering if it's fitting inside your frame. Oh, yeah. got our wristbands. Ta -da! Thank you Brandon, your stud. We're gonna go see if we can't find our seats to see the Commodores and the Temptations. Oh yeah, it feels really good up here and I know it feels great out there. Am I right? It's the day of the show, the official show. It's uh, Saturday, the big day. The big day. 
Last night was the concert, and unfortunately, there was some, well, somebody unfortunately passed away at the concert. My buddy Brandon was doing CPR for a while. It was quite a sober moment, not a real happy way to start the concert, but after all of that, the Commodores rocked. Angie and I are gonna walk over to the event center and pick up some shirts, right? Yeah. And so far, I've heard that there's uh, over a thousand cars registered. As the day goes on, I'm sure more will. Anyways, and quite a crowd down here. There's the distinct smell of coolant, octane, and kettle corn in the air. Right, Shay? Yep. Yep. We're heading over to the arena because Candy got uh, picked for an award. I love the color, and it's a gem. Very cool car. Glenn Hawker out of Wellsville, Utah, is picked by Dustin Moore, CBCA member. A1 Automotive built it in 2005. It has a rib roll steering wheel. Uh, also, pistol grip, four speed, 440, everything's original except the color. 70 Plymouth, Kuda. Brenda Hawker out of Wellsville, Utah. coming through check it out it's a vet 68 vet blue and white troy and tana chat out of cody wyoming great yes go pick this one stay down pick it tell about a car this is my okay let's go to the next one okay this is built 1979 it's a dodge thrown by brandon you need to get fremont in utah this is picked by one of our members jake and jamie and he says, it's a god. It's so cool with bright red paint, wood paint on the bed. And uh, on the outside, it's been signed. So iconic, very clean, very well done. Uh, picked by Chuck Richardson, TVCA member. This is Scott Monson. Scott Monson, out of Providence, Utah. How about a 69 BW 23 window bus? We have a Sky Red Line built by Saturn in 2008 in black. It's owned by Candy Marshall of Logan, Utah. This is picked by one of our sponsors, the Bomb Hotel. And they say it's an absolutely stunning vehicle. They don't make these anymore. And for a four cylinder, it hauls butt. She says maybe I can work out a payment, payment plan. Thank you. You're probably not interested in parting with that, are you? A yellow she has two. Is it a red line also? Yeah, three. Hey, there you go. You look good in that. This is a 1933 Pierce Arrow. It says it is a model 1247. This was picked by Karina Harris of Idle 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 Idle. Too much Idle Isle County, which is over in uh, Brigham. That is Thank a big you. car. Jason Corcoran. This is an F5 Corvette. It's a 1948 Ford in what else but yellow. This is owned by Dave Wallace of Providence, Utah. Picked by Steve Burroughs, one of our members. He's looking for the music for 26 years of searching. For this green bill. See that nice little you got a back seat in the back part, you didn't write the back window, you know, on the back leg. This is Cole. Cole Matthews picked this one. He's on the board of directors of PBCA. Two beats determined. Okay, here we go. New ticket number. Straight through, no stopping. 
One, four, six, three, zero. One, four, six, three, zero. So now it's the hurry up and wait. All the cars are lined up here and trying to work their way up to Main Street. So what was it like waiting to, for the award? It was fun. It was fun to see all the people and see all the vehicles because we walked back and forth and saw them all. It was pretty cool. Got to meet the other award winners. Yeah. Some of them anyway. Yeah. So let's see the award. Let's see the award. All right.
people out, a lot more spectators, which is fun. And uh, we're just gonna pass candy over here. I mean, it's certainly not packed like it used to be in the past, but it, there's a lot more people out here at the, the parade than there was there's last There's a year. lot more cars in the parade. Yeah. <laughs> no. <What? laughs> She's like, light it up. She's got a oh, word candy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the smell of antifreeze and octane in the air has dissipated a little bit. It's Sunday morning. People are packing up to head on to wherever they're headed. It's such a quiet, peaceful feeling here at the Cache Valley Fairgrounds. And uh, already paid the club members for our spot for next year. So next year we'll do it again.